buddy lips never stopping. He goes on top of you, puts his Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel for you guys today. My name is Ryan and welcome back. Welcome back. Do we like the vibe? Okay, I was trying to like do something cute. I don't know. I wanted to try something different. Normally, I have y'all like back there. And I was like, I'm gonna have my tripod sitting up here and we're just gonna chit chat and uh, go through what we're about to go through today. I recently just asked you, I said, I'm gonna be filming and I need y'all to send me your Wattpad stories. I haven't done Wattpad in so long. I forgot that it low key existed because I haven't read any of your stories in so long. So I was like, you know, I need to hear the stories again. I need to see if any of y'all have improved. What are y'all channeling? If it's gonna be about my man Lord Felix, Ricky, who <laughs> video, what's it gonna be about? Today, I'm gonna be reading your horrendous Wattpad stories. I'm very nervous. I don't know what we're gonna get into, but whatever we get into, I'm hoping it's gonna be holy. Y'all can be very crazy. And if you're a martini, that's that's typical. But before we get this video, my martinis, make sure you follow my vlog channel. I have a new vlog channel out. New vlog's gonna be out very soon. I'm very excited about this vlog channel. It's called Extras of Martin. So if you have not subscribed, go subscribe, go watch some vlogs because I'm being fucking real. We get down and we get dirt. You're just gonna see an extra part of my life that I don't really show in here because more of you like sit down videos. So make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you share this video if you want to see more from me a little on me now without further ado let's go ahead and get to this video so the first story i see it seems like a really good one it says i killed my dog from your mother story is this a real story you know because sometimes you know riders be riding from experience is this real and again, this is what I be saying. Every time, every time I do a Google form, who's most likely to? Uh, try not to laugh. Y'all will find, y'all will find, y'all will find a way to put a confession in here. I know this is a confession. You're trying to sneak in. You're trying to sneak it in. But the hell you ain't. Ah! This one, I guess, I don't know what the story is. Some of y'all don't really put the story titles, which I, I, okay. This one says, rat turned to alligator quietly. They both knew they shouldn't be doing this. It was forbidden. Prey cannot acquaint with the predator. Alligator gently caressed Rat's face. Rat frowned, sniffling ever so slightly. Alligator, we we can't. Rat murmured this under her breath, as if this moment between them would be their last. Rat, you know we can't. It's against our tribes. <laughs> against our tribes is killing me. It's against our tribe laws. I know, Alligator, but can we at least have one more moment together? Oh! Rat sniffled, tears dangerously threatening to pour from her eyes. Oh, this is good. Alligator let a coil smile appear on her scale-like lips. Of course, right, Theta. Ah! Anything for you? <laughs> Shall we go to the Moonlog Meadow? What the fuck is that? Gladly, darling. As they made it to the meadow, they talked about their memories they had together. That is until they got caught. <gasps> no! Wait, I'm gonna cry. Queen Rat and Queen Alligator gasped, ashamed of their servants. How dare they break their tribe laws? As if for their consequences, Alligator were brutally tortured while Rat had to watch. If anyone wants a part two, let me know, giggles. Ah, that was good, that was so good. Wait, it was giving Romeo and Juliet. It was giving Romeo and Juliet if they were animals. I really wanna cry because this is actually good. When they got caught, I actually felt sad and my heart dropped. This was really good. And also, I like that you added the detail of her scale light lips for like uh, the alligator. It's just, oh, I love this. This is so good. But what killed me was Rathina that killed me. Oh, why can't we just let love be love? Why do we have to be in our own tribes? Like, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. This is just emotional for me. I just, I just wanted them to be in love. I want a part two. I don't know if you're watching this, but if you're watching this, drop the part two like, cause I enjoyed this. <laughs> This is a short story, okay, so this says, I was chilling in my room, just in the vibe, you know, and scrolling on my phone, when all of a sudden my sneaky link showed up to the door, looking hot or what, but the thing was, my boyfriend was at my house too. Aw, hell. I quickly told my sneaky link, let's call him Ray, to wait at the door for a minute, then hurry to tell my boyfriend to go hide, pretending like my parents were here. As I came back to Ray, he was already through the door looking around the house. What was all that noise for? Oh, nothing, I just had to take care of a few things. Anyways, I missed you. I already knew this man just wanted to hit, but I acted casual. So like, can we hang upstairs now? Um. How about we chill down here for now? I said in a worried voice, hoping my boyfriend wouldn't hear Ray. I handed him a lollipop and we sat on the sofa until I had to go run upstairs to get something. <sighs> when would they leave? I mean, uh, when can I leave? My boyfriend said. Um, soon, I said. Ray came up to my room a second away from catching me. Ray, what you doing up here? I told you to wait. I don't know, I just wanted to cuddle with you in bed. I knew I was dead at this point because I'm sure my boyfriend could hear. Before I could say anything, Ray pinned me on the bed and started kissing my neck. 
Ray, what on earth are you doing? I'm just enjoying some time with you. It was already over for me. I had no choice but to go with it. So I did. He kept on doing his business when finally my boyfriend got tired of this and came out. Ray was heated and was so my boyfriend. When I tell you they started going at it and started arguing, I didn't even know what to do at this point and just ran away. Both my boyfriend Ray left me and I never heard a word from them ever again. The end. Anyways, if you read this, love you, baby. I love you too. Wait. This story was good. I was hoping for a little more details, a little more story, but I'm not like, I'm not trying to act like I'm all that like type of writer, but this was still good. The way he just pinned you on the bed, he crazy. I do love the conversation that you have. This is a really good story, I'm not gonna lie. I just wish there was a little more action. Ooh, like just a little tease, like a little something to keep me on my toes. I want a part two. Okay, so this one says, finally my time to shout with the school emoji. They're about to eat. They're about to eat. You're walking in the rain. Ugh, the twins so much. I the twins. What? Wait. <laughs> You're walking in the rain. Uh, I the twins so much. You walk in a gas station to get a Dr. Pepper and see your school crush. Oh my god, what the actual living hell? What is he doing here? You say in your head. He smiles at you. You get yourself and walk out. You turn your head and see him waiting there. Hey, I see you have no umbrella. You want to share mine? He asked. While getting butterflies in your stomach. Ah! You walk with him. He stops. Why did you stop walking? You asked. He looks you dead in the eyes. I always liked you, your name. He said. Me too. He grabs your chin and kisses you. Wait, so this person, your school crush, your school crush is kissing you. I want to know how far in advance is this? Does this happen recently? Recently, or like this is still during school or like y'all are like grown-ups now cuz him kissing you is a lot He kisses you his soft buttery lips goes against yours heaven. Oh, that was good. He stops Why did you stop? I asked because we're in the rain you go to his house because it's closer to the gas station When he opens the door he picks you up and brings you up to his room <laughs> He starts addressing you, starting on the low, starting taking off your pants. They grab up your thighs. You start taking off his shirt. He goes on top of you with your bra on He still takes it off putting his head in Slowly moving his head, he stops. Listen, I know you like nice and slow, but then she paused. Shh, you said. You go on top of him. You're moving back and forth. He moans, kissing him. His buddy lips never stopping. He goes on top of you, puts his... You moan more, you said. I love you, your body's perfect. He says, shh, it keep on moving. Me or more, don't stop. <laughs> You guys will stop. You go on top of him now looking at each other dead in the eyes. Soft brown eyes. He looks at you. He looks at your lips and you guys start kissing more. Never letting go. You go for round two. You moan. Oh my god. He stops. Did you hear that? They both stop and hear footsteps. You put your clothes on fast. Hey, what is she doing here? His mom yells. Help me with my mouth, mom. He says. Okay, keep this door open, please. I don't want you guys doing dirty stuff. His mom leaves. Girl, you a little late for that. I have to go. My mom is going to kill me. I say, hurrying up. Bye, Amore. He says in his deep, loving voice. Just hearing his voice makes me want to start kissing. I see you're going to finish what we started, he winked. He went up to him and kissed him on the cheek. Bye, love. That was good. The part that you added, like the mom coming in, you already did stuff, so she's late. I love that, I love that. I only wish like I got a little backstory. Oh, ew, why am I talking like this? I should not be saying anything. I just like writing too, so I'm just thinking like, what could like, ah. I really wish I would hear like a little more like backstory of what like before, like was this like in the future? But I'm guessing it wasn't because you did say you had to go home to your mom. So it's giving like the vibe that you're in school still. One of my favorite parts was the me or more. I don't know why, but I've always had a thing for like anybody saying me or more, like me or more. Oh, my love. And then when you said buy more, he says in his deep loving voice, that was hot as hell. His buttery lips, like those things. I was envisioning everything in my head, by the way. Like that type of storytelling is really good. I'm living what's what happened to in real life to me through a wet story. And I can see it. I saw my face in there. It's just buttery. I love it. Ah! <gasps> oh, this one has, wait, wait, wait. This one has Laura Felix and it has Kai. I just saw the names. This says, I used to be an FF writer, not because, you know, <laughs> shipping idols, but I love to write too. I must put my writing works into this. This is called Fairy Boy. I woke up when the sun hitting my eyes. Annoyed, I roughly got out of bed, throwing my sheets everywhere. I shut the blinds and smile. Another day, another slut. <laughs> I turned around and saw myself in the mirror. Perfect at all. Wait, okay, period. I walk to my closet while dragging my feet. I grab a beautiful black and white Chanel outfit. A gray suit and tight. Oh, a big knock was at my bedroom door. Hold on. No, we're going to be late. That was my older brother, Kai. He does anything but annoy me, but he's my brother. I still love him. I quickly changed into my outfit and headed out to the kitchen. You aren't going to fix your hair, Kai said with a scoff. What? I already did my hair. You did a horrible job. Uh-uh. Nobody's 
talking about my hair like that? I rolled my eyes and had big glasses of orange juice. My brother was about to speak, but I quickly went into the backyard. I didn't want to hear him speak. I went into my backyard. In my backyard, there was a forest. Nothing bad happened in there. Cute buddy foxes, that's just round and play. I took a sip of my freshly store bought orange juice. It was refreshing, but something caught my eye. A light shimmering further in the woods. I love shiny things, so I took it upon myself to check it out. If, if, if this is the way to enter my man, this is gonna be perfect. I finally came close to the shining object and took before me was a boy. <laughs> Blonde hair, his bright green eyes, his perfect shaped jaw. He made eye contact and was about to run, but then I spoke. Hey, wait! He stopped dead in his tracks and slowly turned around. I must go. I'll get in trouble. His deep Austrian voice made my heart flutter. I know it, girl. Who are you? The young boy took a good look around us both, and closing his eyes, wings, fairy wings appeared on his back. <gasps> I'm Felix, a fairy, but you cannot tell anybody you saw me. It would be dangerous for both for us both. Wait, this is so good. Whoever wrote this, I'm already loving it. This is already A+. Plus. I just want to say that right now because this is really, really good. You slowly nodded. He turned around and turned to dust, like proxy dust you would see in a Tinkerbell movie. Will we see each other again? Fairy boy. Dun, dun, dun. It's been such a long time since I wrote anything so embarrassing. No, this was so good. This was so, so good. Okay, I love that also, first of all, it wasn't like sensual, sexual, anything. Like, I enjoy stories like that as well. I'm not saying that I don't enjoy stories like that either, but this was so good. When you said it was a boy with perfect blonde hair, I love that you described him. The perfect jaw, the green eyes. And then also the part where you said, I love shiny things and you took it upon yourself to check it out. That is so me. Like, it felt like I could see once again, like, I don't know, going into the forest, I saw like glitter just coming and there's a the bugs that light up. And the forest, like, you're so tiny, but the forest is so big and you just see him and he's walking and the sun is behind him so he's walking all oh, you see him he's like a silhouette like i saw everything in my head like it was so beautiful i loved it i, I want a part two because i want to know why is it dangerous for him to not tell anybody he's a fairy like what what happened this is good storytelling please if you're watching this please make it a part two because i would love to read the part two on my second channel and just go from there oh that's what it literally about to be a k-pop just like read out of what past stories because i just see another one dealing with felix i'm in one with me i told you to put one in me hopefully there's more in here that i can read it was a cold stormy night in felixville jessica recently moved after hearing that the felix lives here being the simp she is jessica had just finished unpacking when she realized she ran out of her microwave lunches she arrived at the convenience store picking out enchiladas with green chimichurri sauce when she felt light sparkly blue orbs that looked like the ocean staring at her she looked up to see Laura Felix looking at the eggplant. Jessica couldn't, couldn't believe what she was seeing. She knew this might be the only chance to see Laura Felix, so she went up to him. Pushing her front piece of hair behind her ear, she silently said, Hi, um, my name's Jessica. I love you. He <laughs> sounded like a creep. Ha! <laughs> Me. Just is not great at socializing, as you can tell. Laura Felix, however, ignored her weird introduction and told her, I'm thankful that I have people who like someone like me. Ha <laughs> ha. Could you do me a favor and keep this a secret? I don't want people to notice me. Of course, Jessica says. Jessica didn't know what to say after that. She just decided to say, I noticed that you're picking eggplants. Are you looking for the right ones? Lord Felix says, no, darling. I'm looking for the big ones. Oh. Wait, hold on. Eggplants looking for the big... Hold on. No, darling, I'm looking for the big ones. Even though I already have one that girls like you love. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. Even though I already have one that the girls like you love. I do one for my dinner tonight. He winks at her. <laughs> Jessica immediately blushes at him, saying something so proactive but sexy at the same time. Laura Felix grew Jessica's chin even so gently with this perfectly manicured hands and says, Don't tell me you've never tried a big eggplant. <laughs> Do you need me to let you taste one, cutie? He says, Jessica immediately says yes after this offer. And you know what happened after that. Let's just say Jessica never left Felixville and stayed there remember that 60 times for the storage closet in public. This is purely fictional. Oh, whoa! Whoa! This was good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I think that you didn't nuance the eggplant was going to be soon. Talk about him. Oh my God. This was so good. Good. Do you need me to let you taste one, cutie? What the actual flying fuck? This was so good. When he said, no, darling, I'm looking for the big one, even though I already have the one the girls like you love. What? Okay. This was amazing. I literally, again, I saw everything playing in my head. I saw that this was just perfect. Oh my God, I need a part two. And then the way you said, let's just say Jessica never left Felixville and stayed there. Remember that sexy time spent in the storage closet in Publix. What the flying hell happened in that Publix? I know what happened, but I need to see it unwritten out. I need to see it written out. I have to read it under my bed, like at uh, one in the morning. Felixville, this is so good. The manicured hands was one of my favorite parts as well. He gives me very clean boy. And I know his nails are done. I'm sorry, I got my nails done. I don't know if I told you. 
with us. Whoever wrote this, I'm very proud of you. This is probably on the top tier of my list right now. The fairy and this one are like fighting. This one says Martin looked up after hearing the cow shop bell ring and what he saw made him release a breath he didn't know he was holding. The Lord Felix walked in. The known bad boy at school and mafia boss. The two men made eye contact and Felix winked at Martin. Then all of a sudden, Felix grabbed Martin and started running out of the cafe. Martin stared at the male in confusion. Uh, Felix, what are you doing? Felix growled and shoved Martin to a black limo and sat next to him. I love you, Martin, in your mind. <laughs> then Felix and Martin got married. P.S. First time writing this kind of fanfic in years. Oh my god, this was great. It's sometimes always the short ones that get me, and I don't mind it. Because honestly, it was short, cute, simple to the point, and knowing that I got married to my man. So that's all that matters to me. And I love a little bad boy. What? Kidnapped by Ariana Grande by Mia. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> One night, little me was walking down the street after coming home from a Chuck E. Cheese birthday party. I was humming a song called Focus On Me by Ariana Grande. As I was humming, I heard a loud swoosh noise go right in front of me. I started to feel nervous and my arms got weak. I started sprinting as my heart raced, but still humming in fear. Focus on me. <laughs> from the bushes. I stay out of fear. Who's there? Then a big shadowy mist appeared in front of me. The mist died down as it stepped. A slim five big figure standing there. I slowly looked up and couldn't believe my eyes. The figure spoke and said, scooch a mooch. It's me. <laughs> oh my god. I remember Artie Grande saying this. This is killing me. Scooch a mooch. Before grabbing me and stuffing my mouth with bibble, I passed off from bibble overload. I then found myself waking up in a fancy room. I looked around to see family portraits of Ariana Frankie Grande. Then I was, I just been kidnapped by Ariana Grande. I looked down at my body and realized I was tied down to a chair with rope. As I was trying to break free, <laughs> I get that. Break free, I heard giggling as the door opened and my stomach dropped. Peeking through the crack of the door was Arna's piercing eyes, watching me struggle and her hand reached over the door. Her nail scratching at the side, she said, don't worry, little girl. I bet you're wondering why you're here. Hmm. I trembled and replied, yes. And she replied with, well, it's just a celeb hobby of mine. I like fan shopping and you're the perfect one with the smirk. It's the things you can do when you're famous if equivalent to hush money, only a bit more taboo. Her eyes widened as if she was hungry and from my flesh. A single tear rolled down my face as I dreaded what just happened to me. Wow. I hope you read this right. I love you, bestie. I love you too, girl. The bibble overload. Can we be for real? And then also the focus on me, the humming. Oh my God, this is taking me out. And I liked how it was a big shadow. Like you, it made it seem like, oh my God, who's about to pop out? A big misty shadow. And then all of a sudden it's a five foot figure and it's already grande. Trying to break free. That was a good little clever spot. like that she did that. This was really good. Ah, oh, fuck, I say. <laughs> I've never been so disappointed and passionate at the same time. It's been two hours and I'm still coming back, begging for, wait, begging for more. Something about him is just so enchanting. His big, meaty muscles, his masculine voice. Our hard breath mixed together as we lay close to each other. Not breaking eye contact, he slowly looked at me up and down. A spark appeared on his face. <laughs> This bastard. Oh shit. I let out a quick shout. The amount of pain and pleasure was unbearable and skyrocketed as he slammed me with his dick. Ah, uh, no, no, what the hell did you do that for? I'm for sure gonna need stitches. I think to myself as I look down at my probably bruised. God, what the fuck? I'm just having gotten a response and looked up. Once again, eye contact was made, but this time it was different. Something about he was looking at me. One eyebrow arched, kind of like my back. Wrinkles visibly above the elevated eyebrow. His bald head reflecting. Oh, bald, wait. <laughs> Bald. Oh, he's talking about bald men. Way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. His bald head reflected light, like light off a clean mirror. Wow, that's good. These features form a familiar expression. One I've seen many times before. Dwayne, cut that stuff out and just rail me. He didn't stop though. We sat there and saw it. I came to the conclusion that this man not be the one, but that's been known for quite some time. That's why I've been sleeping with his friends for the. What? That's why I've been sleeping with his friends for the past three years. The end. My baby, my baby. See, the thing is, I don't, this gives me confessional vibes, and I, <laughs> I don't know if I should feel like this is a story, or if this is like a story that you actually been through, and you want my opinion. I don't know if that's what it is, but this is giving confessions, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I've been sleeping with his friends for past years is actually crazy. I do find the writing in this part really good. His bald head reflecting like light off a clean mirror. That was smooth. And then these features formed a familiar expression, one I've seen many times before. It's giving Taylor. It's giving like the writing is there. I, I'm living for it. Probably bruised kitty cat did kind of scare me for a minute. Uh, it's a little. But besides that, honestly, I love this. It was really good. Well, that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I literally traumatized a little bit. We've been traumatized. I feel like since 2021 and we're here 2023 standing strong still so if we can get to traumatizations now what makes we can't do it in the future okay <laughs> let's be for real I honestly really want to say my favorite one was probably the fairy one or the, the Jessica one with the when she saw Lord Felix in Felixville that 
those two are probably my favorite. I really did like the Artie Cardi one. The Artie Cardi one was really funny. I know a lot of you have so many more webpad stories in here that I didn't get to read, and some of you probably want to put some in now. So I'm gonna make another Google form and then just combine it with this one that I have and read some of those that I have, and just so everybody gets a chance, because I do like reading stories a lot on here on this channel. So uh, yeah, but I love Jenna Georgia, baby. Bye.